What would you like to know? I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your... accident were mostly part of our military division. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. It includes facilities to rearm and repair Normandy's embarked ground vehicle and shuttle. My last ship didn't need a shuttle. Why do we have one? This ship is nearly twice the mass of the previous Normandy. It is more difficult to land the ship on high gravity worlds. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. 
I won't bore you with the tech, but there is an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, that weasel Udina backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single- Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the Collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Carrier. Will do, Commander. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you he would. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal.
Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Arya for keeping an eye on you. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Please. You have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed? I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said <laughs> shut it. Tried to lead me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. I'm assuming there's some part of your contract that I'm expected to handle. That about right? Yeah. Funny he didn't tell you. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Eldfell Ashland refinery on Zoya, and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Come on, let me in. 